So uh, I would like now to invite um, all GFMD members to, to raise any questions or make any comments about the activities and financial reports before they are put to a vote for approval. Um, so if there are someone here or online that would like to, to speak, this will be the moment. Jasper. I think you have you have received so much praise and I just want to say, yes, thank you also. But I want also to raise a, a point which we may come back to tomorrow. So it's a question that we shouldn't respond necessarily to today. Important to discuss priorities, you know, because the team is not, it's not big. And it's also, there are, it's, it's actually overwhelming how much you have been able to achieve. So of course, all praise for that. But I think when we look forward, to have an impact on some of these very, very complex issues that you also brought up, Mira, so well. I think we need to discuss what it is that we expect from uh, the Secretariat. And I think this is what we should do tomorrow. I, think, I don't think we should leave without having somehow clarified some of those key priorities that will allow us, all of us, you in particular, the Secretariat, to not end up being overstretched. Think about that till tomorrow. <laughs> yes, you're 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 right. I think it's a point to to talk about. Um, anyone else online or here? Um, just note that the adoption of the GFMD activity reports and the financial reports will be provisional until you know to allow our members to that are not able to attend in person or by Zoom to vote. Um, uh, recordings of these presentations will be shared with all members on October the 11th. And the final deadline for objections and our questions and voting will be on the 22nd of October. Uh, but nevertheless, I need to ask if you approve this presented activity, strategic and financial reports, there's anyone against it this is the time and if not then we am happy to conclude that we have adopted this four what well, it's like five year activity and financial report so thank you so much okay thank you so much we are so so grateful for um for this approval um just to add something that tom didn't have a chance to explain uh apart from our changes in the constitution. Uh, there has been a new law in Belgium that was adopted uh, in 2019, and uh, that is coming into force gradually, uh, that regulates operations of companies and also of uh, associations, both local and international, and we are registered as a um, international nonprofit association. And uh, this new law requires all general members to meet once per year. Uh, to adopt uh, both activity and financial reports, but also to um, approve uh, the choice of auditor for the, uh, for the financial audit. And so when we send you uh, all the information that we've adopted today, uh, we will also send you uh, uh, an information about uh, the two auditors that we've been using over the last uh, uh, two years and suggest an auditor that we will use for the accounts of uh, 2020, 21 for your uh, approval. Uh, we will uh, of, uh, try, of course, to meet as uh, frequently as possible, but uh, these general meetings uh, will, annual general meetings will take place online. Uh, and every fourth will be taking place in person unless uh, we uh, have different circumstances where we can meet more frequently. Thank you.